what's up everybody it's your boy Chip back at you from RVA Vapes and today we've got something I'm really excited about the CKS Thunder this is a new box mod from our friends at CKS which is now owned by USB and this thing is my new favorite mod VO chip dual 21700 and it comes with their bolt tank Let's check it out. What's going on everybody? Today we got a good one for you and this is the Thunder from CKS. Some very flashy packaging they've got going on here. You can see in the box you've got your Thunder mod. They call this the bolt tank and here's your manual and limited warranty card as well as your box of goodies which comes with your charge cable nice flat charge cable and a spare set of o-rings for the tank so here's the thunder mod itself you can see it's got your up and down buttons your micro usb charge port center mounted 510 and your battery door here it's got some nice grooves built into it so you got a good grip there now the other thing you may notice is there's a dual fire button design here so there's a fire button on each side which is really cool so this is the one two three clicks it gets you into the menu there and you got your power setting and you got your temp control settings bypass settings update for the firmware your actual settings menu which allows you to uh, change the puff counter and reset it or change your wallpaper and they do have some cool pre-installed wallpapers on here if you're into that look and of course screen brightness that's all the way down you can still see it about 70 percent and then you could turn your system on or off if you hold the up and down button that cycles through the different preset power modes similar to the were on the arc because it is a VO chip 240 chipset so you got your sport mode your normal mode and your eco mode and that just controls the ramp up of the actual device then you've got the bolt tank right here and you will see it's got the same kind of knurling built into it look for the little thunderbolt push there slides open for you and it does have a burp hole you can see there and the other thing you may notice is these are compatible coils with the Fireluke Mesh Pro so it comes with a dual mesh coil you can see down in there and you can use the triple quad or single versions of the Mesh Pro tank nice wide airflow may even be a little bit bigger than the Mesh Pro tank Now that you've seen it up close, we're going to pull back and talk about it. Um, first and foremost, we're going to go over the parameters. From tip to tail, you got 140 millimeters. Width-wise, you're looking at about 50 millimeters. And then depth is 35, 36 millimeters. And this tank, their CKS bolt tank, is very similar to the Freemax Mesh Pro tank and it's 25 millimeters across and it is compatible you can see there I've got a Fireluke I've got a Freemax mesh pro tank in it and I'm using the triple right now um, so the styling on this thing is really cool it's all black they've got the matte on the sides and then the shiny on the top and then it's got this nice design kind of engraved in it you can see the reflection there and there 3D uh, Fujin gold plating for their logo there and of course the color screen it's beautiful it's amazing it is 1.3 inch TTF color screen and it does have kind of a tint over the top of it but it's still nice and bright as you can see here let's talk about the chipset you know we showed you the menu but just overall you know we are huge fans of the VO chip 
and what they've done is they've taken the same VO chip that we know and love but enhanced it with a much nicer UI so the user interface is much easier to deal with it's still got your three modes still got all your temperature control suite and it's still got the amazing performance of the VO chip so we really really like this um, you know being able to run the dual 21700s or the dual 18650s I think is a huge step up um, the dual fire buttons takes a little getting used to but I find it a little bit more convenient because that way whichever way I'm holding it I thumb fire it pretty much every time so if I am holding it this way there's a fire button if I'm holding it this way there's the same fire button same exact spot so after you get used to it it's kind of a cool thing to have um, I never really find myself bumping them or misfiring because it's got that extra button there like I thought I would so all in all I'd have to say it's a positive not not anything to be worried about um, you know the overall construction you've got your zinc alloy casing all the way around it does have a plastic top um, covering but the shiny black with the matte black is kind of a cool look um, you know the battery door seems to be very well designed haven't had any problems with that um, I will tell you though if you're using uh, like off-brand 21 700s or rewraps it doesn't quite fit so um, I opt for always having the Galici s uh, 35s in there Mooch's number one rated 21 700 battery because um, it fits in there without a problem but some of the other ones I've used, like the, uh, what the hell is this even called? The AVBs, like this. Any of them that have that circle on the bottom there. Um, like the VKRs, the AVBs, and I've also had it with, I can't remember the other brand I had in here. Anyway, so just make sure you've got the non rewrapped or non off brand. Um, I recommend the Galicis highly. We sell them here at RVA Vapes. Um, but other than that, you know, the fit and finish on it is tremendous. You'll notice it does have the center mounted 510. Um, and this 25 millimeter tank sits on there with a little bit of love. So you could probably easily fit, you know, a 28 and even a 30 would fit on there nicely because it's got that beveled edge to it. Matter of fact, triple 28 sitting right there. So there you go. You can see that fits on there nicely right flush flush with it but uh, you could even put a 30 millimeter on there and it would look all right because of the way they've got that rolled in scoop design now that we've talked about the design we've talked about the construction um, let's jump into the performance a little bit yeah she's a chuck um, the performance on the chip Anybody that's watched this channel knows uh, we love the VO chipset. With the new user interface, it's even easier to navigate. You can get to everything you want. It's got some cool preloaded um, screen savers to match the CKS branding, or you can put your own uh, pictures and stuff on there, which is really cool. Goes up to 240 watts. Um, it's got all the temperature control functions. It supports up to 8.4 volts and resistance from 0.1 to 2 ohms. It's everything we loved about the VO chip, just upgraded and put into a, a cleaner, easier to use uh, user interface. Um, this bolt tank, I've become a big fan of. You know, the styling of it is really cool. I like the drip tip. It's even got the little, let's see if you can see it there. You see how the little ridges cut into here to match the ridges that are cut into here. Um, the drip tip's got that same kind of pattern, just a little bit larger. And the bottom does as well. You know, I think it's even got a little bit more airflow than the Mesh Pro from Freemax Tank. But being compatible with those coils or taking their bolt coils, I think, is a very smart step in their in their part. Um, flavor, you know, this platform is amazing. The Mesh Pro um, coils and, and tank and everything are still our favorite as far as flavor goes. So pairing this mod with this tank, I think, is a really smart idea. I'm running this guy at 75 watts. You can see right there um, with the point one. 
they're calling this a 0.16 coil because it's getting kind of old it's probably about time to change it um great amount of vapor amazing amazing flavor um super quick ramp up and that's on the normal setting if you put it on the sport mode it's going to ramp up even faster and be instantaneous um, but I have found that the sport mode does cause the coils to uh, diminish a little bit quicker just because you've got a more aggressive uh, power setting in there. All in all, I can't really find anything bad to say about this guy. You know, there, there's a couple of little things like the plastic top cap on the mod itself. Eh, I think it cheapens the look of it just slightly. Um, you know, not being able to run... The rewrapped or off-brand 21700s could cause some people problems uh, with the fitting of the battery door, that is. Um, you know, they only make the one color, the black, which is a nice-looking mod, um, but I would like to see a couple other color options, possibly. Um, you know, the, the fades that they have on the Mach 1s, like you see right here, that blue to black fade, I think would look really sharp in, on this guy. Um, or the green to black or the red to black possibly but it's not bad looking I just wish there was a little more options because I know a lot of people um, black is the most popular color but personally I would like to see a blue version you know just throwing that out there but all together we have to give this guy boop boop three very enthusiastic thumbs up you know I've been using this guy since right before Christmas I bought it for myself because um, I've been looking for a dual 21700 device with a higher end chipset and the pairing with the Fireloop mesh style bolt tank that they came out with is perfect in my opinion so this is everything I've been looking for in a mod personally um, and they put it all together in one very nice um, pr very well priced package um, you can get yours for 10% off I'm going to throw a coupon code up right here and you can pick yours up at shop.rvavapes.com. With that coupon code, you'll get 10% off your purchase. And um, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can catch all of our newest reviews every Saturday. And um, we try to keep these videos short and sweet as possible because not everybody has an hour to watch a vape review. I'm one of those, so the shorter the better, as long as I get all the facts that I need. Um, and lastly, if you want to smoke, that's your belief. If you don't, come on, lay up.